Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number six. This week I'm going to talk about this motion or distance sensor that can plug into the camera axe. This is a sonar based sensor and I'll put the data sheet for this in the show notes so you can read all the technical uh, specs if you want. But basically the way it works is it's a sonar so it sends out sound waves and when an object comes in front of it those sound waves reflect back and you can detect how far away that object is within a few inches and the maximum range for the sensor is about 23 feet so anything between 0 and 23 feet in this cone shaped sensing re region it'll be able to detect now the advantage of this over your typical PIR type sensor which is those white domed sensors that you often see for detecting motion is that with photography you want a lot more control and this will let you detect exactly where something is you know within a few inches so if you want to use this with a camera axe and detect you know something's between seven and eight feet you can do that um, and with photography you want that extra control you want to know where something is and only take pictures when it is in sort of that region so now I'm going to show how to set up the camera axe with the motion or distance sensor. So we have the distance sensor plugged into sensor port number one. And you'd have either a camera or a flash plugged into camera flash port number one. I'm holding down the activate button while turning it on just to reset the camera axe to defaults. So that's this first line, this trigger sensor line, is basically just saying that device number one, which is your camera, is going to get triggered by the motion sensor, which pl is plugged into sensor number one. The delay for this type of sensor is usually going to be zero, but if you wanted to have a delay between when the sensor detects something and when you take a photo, you could add a value in here to make that delay happen. The bulb time is basically how long the camera axe is going to trigger the camera or the flash. Um, so two seconds means that uh, if your camera is in single shot mode it'll take one shot, wait for two seconds, and then take another one if something's still triggering the camera axe. Uh, if it's in multi-shot mode uh, your camera would continue to take photos for two seconds as fast as it can and then after two seconds it would either stop if the thing has moved out of the um, sensing region for the camera axe or if it's st still triggering the camera axe then it'll take photos for another two seconds. Pre-focus if you have a camera plugged in you might want to change that to yes to reduce the shutter lag the trigger type and the trigger value uh, really depend on how you want to use the motion sensor. So in this room it looks like the standard value um, is about 100 to 107 and that's basically detecting the ceiling. If I had a taller ceiling it would go up to 999 in an open space. Um, and when something passes in front of it uh, like my hand is just a few inches above it right now, you get a value of around you know 20 or so. And if I go a little higher, um, now it's maybe a foot and a half, I get a value of 42. So you can correlate those numbers to actual feet. And let, let's say we wanted to set the camera axe to take a photo when something got pretty close. So what I'll do is I'll change the triggering value to something like 40. And we want it to trigger when something gets close. And when something gets close to the sensor, the value is lower. So we're going to, oops, we're going to trigger on a, a low value instead of a high value. And that's pretty much all you should need to do for this sensor. So when I hit activate and 
uh, nothing sort of happens when I pass my hand right in front of it. Uh, this LED goes on, which is basically um, indicating that this camera or the flash plugged into this port would be triggered. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.